Hello and welcome to Health Department Podcast. I am your host, Milandrotic, and I'm excited to share my passion for natural health and personal health improvement with you. In this episode, I will talk about the history and background of Beck's Flowers Therapy. But before we dive in, I want to invite you to subscribe to this podcast so you'll never miss one episode. By subscribing, you will all have access to all our past and future episodes and you will be part of our growing community of like-minded individuals who are committed to personal growth and empowerment. So if you're ready to take your life to the next level, hit the subscribe button now. Now, let's get started with today's episode. Back flowers therapy is a form of natural healing that utilizes the essence of flowers to promote emotional and physical well-being. The therapy was developed by Dr. Edward Back, a British physician in the 1930s. Let's see a little bit about biography of Dr. Edward Back. He was a British physician, like I see, and homeopath who is best known for his development of back flower therapy, a form of natural healing that utilizes the essence of flowers to promote emotional and physical well-being. Born in 1886 in Birmingham, England, Dr. Buck was interested in natural healing from a young age. He studied medicine at the University College Hospital in London and later became a such full homeopath and bacteriologist. Despite his success in traditional medicine, Dr. Bach was dissatisfied with the limitation of conventional treatments and began to explore the healing properties of plants and flowers. He believed that emotional imbalances were the root cause of many physical illnesses and that by addressing these imbalances, the body's natural healing process could be activated. Dr. Bach began researching the healing properties of flowers and plants and developed a system of 38 flower remedies, each of which corresponded to a specific emotional state. He used his remedies to successfully treat a wide range of emotional and physical conditions, including anxiety, depression and disease disorders. Despite his success as a healer, Dr. Bach was also humbled a compassionate man who dedicated his life to helping others. In fact, he believed that everyone had the power to heal themselves and encouraged his passing to take an active role in their own healing process. Dr. Bach died in 1936 at the age of 50, but his legacy lies on through the Bach Center in Oxfordshire, England, which he founded in 1934. The Bach Center continues to promote the use of Bach flower therapy as a safe, natural and effective form of healing and the remedies are widely used around the world today. <clears throat> but let's see a little bit more about what he believed. Dr. Bach believed that physical illness, like I said, was often a manifestation of emotional imbalances and that by addressing the underlying emotional issues, the body's natural healing process could be activated. He began researching the healing properties of flower set plant and developed a system of 38 flower remedies, <clears throat> each of which corresponds to a specific emotional state. He believed that emotional and personality traits are interconnected and that emotional imbalances can manifest in physical illnesses. He believed that the healing properties of plant and flowers could help and restore emotional balance, which in turn could promote physical healing. According to Dr. Bach, each flower has a unique energy and healing vibration that corresponds to a specific emotional state. He believed that by ingesting or topically applying the essence of a particular flower, the energy and healing properties of that flower could help the balanced emotion and restore harmony to the mind and body. Dr. Bach also believed that the process of creating flower essences involved capturing the life force of the flower at the peak of its bloom. He would place the flowers in poor water and allow them to infuse their energy and healing property into the water through the power of the sun. Once the essence was created, Dr. Bach would test it on himself and his patient to determine its healing properties and which emotional states it corresponds to. He developed a system of 38 flower remedies, 
each of which uh, corresponded to a specific emotional state, such as fear, loneliness, and uncertainty. <clears throat> he believed that the matching the appropriate flower essence to an individual emotional state, he could help to restore emotional balance and promote physical healing. He developed a system of identifying which remedies would be the most effective for each individual, based on a series of questions designed to identify the underlying emotional state of an individual. Overall, Dr. Bach saw that a flower essence seemed like an emotional state of people through his observation of the effects of flower essences on emotional imbalances and his belief in the interconnectedness of emotion and physical health. Seems to him that the flower essence could help to balance emotions and restore harmony to the mind and the body. In fact, he used his remedies to successfully treat a wide range of emotional and physical conditions, including anxiety, depression, and digestive disorders. In addition to the development of the remedies themselves, Dr. Bach also developed a system for identifying which remedies would be most effective for each individual. This system, known as the Bach Flower Questionnaire, involves a series of questions designed to identify the underlying emotional state of the individual and match them with the appropriate flower essence. Since its development in the 1930s, Back flower therapy has gained popularity around the world as a natural, gentle, and effective form of healing. Many practitioners combine black flower therapy with other forms of natural healing, such as acupuncture, massage, nutrition, to provide an holistic approach to health and well-being. Today, back flower therapy is widely recognized as a safe and effective form of natural healing that can be used to treat a wide range of emotional and physical conditions. The remedies are available in many health food stores and also online, and many practitioners offer personalized consultation to help individuals identify the most effective remedies for their unique needs. In conclusion, Bach's flower therapy is a holistic healing system that was developed by Dr. Edward Bach in the early 20th centuries. He believed that, f- that physical illnesses were a manifestation of negative emotion states and that by addressing these emotions, the body would be able to heal itself. Bach's flower therapy is based on the use of flower essences that are made by infusion flowers in water and then diluting them in alcohol. These essences are believed to have a vibrational energy that can help to balance emotional state. As we continue to learn more about the human body and mind, it is likely that back flower therapy will continue to evolve and be used in new and innovative ways. The future of it is exciting, and we can look forward to seeing how it will continue to help individuals achieve balance and wellness in their lives. Now, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a comment and a review and share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world for me and it helps me spread my message and empowerment to more possible people. Thank you to follow.